Scott McTominay picks the three world-class Man United players in win over Chelsea. Scott McTominay believes that three Manchester United players were world-class against Chelsea in the 2-1 victory over the Blues. It was two goals from Scott McTominay that won the game for Manchester United at Old Trafford with the Scottish midfielder denying Chelsea a point after Cole Palmer had equalised in the first half. After such a disappointing and drab defeat to Newcastle United at St James Park, the Red Devils came out fighting and had McTominay been more clinical, the 26-year-old could have had a hat-trick for United against a poor Chelsea side. It was a big performance from all 11 players on the pitch for Eric Ten Hag's side and the result will surely give the team a big boost. Speaking to Amazon Prime after the game, McTominay singled out three United players who he believed to be world-class on a big night for the Red Devils. When the midfielder was asked about his goal-scoring exploits, with his two goals taking him to six for the season in all competitions, he singled out three men in particular. I am delighted to score two goals, but I have to give credit to all the boys, the Scottish midfielder began. Anthony, Harry, Maguire, Bruno, Fernandez, I can give you a list of players who were absolutely world-class tonight. It's hard to argue with the Scottish midfielder and there could well be three or four more names to add to that list for the Red Devils. Things were looking bleak for the Red Devils following their dismal defeat to Newcastle United, but a dogged and determined win over Chelsea has eased the pressure on the Dutchman. Bruno Fernandes, in particular, put in a real captain's performance for the Red Devils after the defeat to the Geordie side. If there was any question about the loyalties of the players towards Ten Hag, that talk would have ended following the Red Devils' performance against Mauricio Pochettino's side. It will be a defining few weeks for the Red Devils as they face the daunting prospect of Bayern Munich, Liverpool and Aston Villa, who have just gone ahead of Manchester City after a 1-0 win over Pep Guardiola's side. United Star sends clear message to the media over fantastic Eric Ten Hag. Sofian Amrabat reacted to Manchester United's much-needed 2-1 win over Chelsea and voiced his support for Eric Ten Hag after reports of dressing room unrest. The Red Devils clinched all three points upon their return to Old Trafford as they looked to bounce back at the earliest opportunity from last Saturday's 1-0 defeat to Newcastle United. Amrabat replaced youngster Kabi Mainu in the starting lineup and was one of a handful of changes made by the manager and the shuffle certainly paid off as far as Ten Hag will be concerned. It was perhaps the Moroccan's best performance yet in a red shirt as he played a pivotal role in keeping Mauricio Pochettino's £220 million midfield quiet across the night. Game time has proven hard to come by for Amrabat, who joined on a season-long loan spell from Fiorentina on deadline day, and he has been limited to just five Premier League starts. Speaking post-match to be in sports, he had his say on tonight's affairs, as well as the term thus far, of course, I'm very happy, about the result. It was, I think, a very good game for us. We played very good, attractive football, attacking football with a lot of pressing, I think this is the way that we want to play. We won the game so the only thing maybe, if you can say something, is that we had to score more goals, but we won so that's the most important, thing, but. Regarding his time with United up to now, he said, first of all, I don't like to make excuses, but for me, it was a little bit of a difficult start because I didn't get a preseason. Preseason is very important. I started with an injury, so I needed some time, but you have no time, the team needed me. I think we had not a very good start to the season, so yeah, it's not easy. I think if you come to the Premier League, strongest league of the world, everybody needs time to adapt, but like I said, there is no time. I feel now every day, every week I'm getting stronger and better and adapting to the league, so I hope that I can help the team more and play every time better and better. I work very hard so I'm confident everything will be fine. Having played under Ten Hag previously in his career at Utrecht and now again, Amrabat was quick to voice his full backing and support to the manager.
Eric Ten Hag is a fantastic coach. Of course, I worked with him seven years ago, so it's a long time. Already in that moment, he was a fantastic manager, but now he's maybe one of the best in the world. He's more experienced. He did a fantastic job everywhere he went. Ajax, here, United, in the first season. He's a fantastic coach, and we are all behind him. Eric Ten Hag dismisses crisis talk at Manchester United and hails Anthony for stepping up. Eric Ten Hag has hailed Anthony's recent performances with the Manchester United winger stepping up after his difficult start to the season. The Brazil international, who joined United in an £85 million deal from Ajax in the summer of 2022, has endured a difficult second season at Old Trafford, still to register a single goal or assist this term. The winger was given a leave of absence earlier in the campaign after allegations of assault in Brazil. He has struggled for consistency since returning to the side and has faced widespread criticism from former United players but turned in a much improved display in the 3-3 draw with Galatasaray last week. He was also named in the starting 11 against Chelsea on Wednesday alongside Rasmus Hodgland and Alejandro Garnacho with Marcus Rashford and Anthony Marshall dropped to the bench. United sealed a 2-1 win at Old Trafford with Scott McTominay scoring twice. Ten Hag was also impressed with Anthony's contribution, singling him out for special praise. I agree, I think he's progressing, Ten Hag said in his post-match press conference. This is the attitude and what he needs. It's what he has to contribute to the team. He was very bright, he got very good positions on the ball, he also made very good decisions, he is stepping up and he has to build on this. Victory over Chelsea provided a much-needed lift for Ten Hag during a difficult week for the club. The Dutchman dismissed talk of a crisis at Old Trafford, insisting an important step forward was taken with Wednesday's win. Crisis? Not for us, Ten Hag said. We keep calm, we look at the process, we know where we have to build and build on, so we go in right direction, don't get distracted by criticism from around us. We are critical on ourselves, we are not quick to be satisfied, always want to do better. We want to keep going in this process, with progress. The season is long, we have to improve a lot if we want to be successful, this team is capable of being successful.